Lucas Media. So I'm going to play this quick video of y'all of Otto Island talking about Anthony Joshua. You know, they got an upcoming fight next month. I'm going to play this quick video. Shout out to Counter Punch, Counter Punch Boxing. I respect him. He's done really well for himself. He's been a very good fighter. But I think he reached his peak maybe in 2018 mm. or around that time. So I think he was actually better when I sparred him in 2016 than what he is now. I think it's physically the same, but just mentally he's a different guy. I think he has too much pressure. People, I think some people are not very kind to him. And I think that hurts him a lot. And he is, he's very aware of that. I think he's scared of losing, getting knocked out again. So I think that's a big problem for him. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. So I'm, let, me, let me unpack this. I do agree to a point of what Otto Island is saying. So Anthony Joshua beat Charles Martin in 2016 for the IBF belt. And then in 2017, he was voted the most marketable athlete. While also beating Klitschko to have the WBA and the WBO belts. And after that, people started screaming wilder, wilder, wilder. And AJ and Eddie Hearn went to milk, as we say, milk the cow. And they refused to let that happen. AJ had three belts out of four and said, I'm not ready. And, you know, we'll fight in the 2020s when I feel like I have the better advantage. And he never really seemed like a complete confident fighter. He did try um, Dominic Brazil. He tried that tough guy persona, but then um, Big Baby Miller ended up testing him. Of course, the fight didn't happen, and it happened with Andy Ruiz. Now, they did say, allegedly, he had a panic attack in the locker room before coming out of Madison Square Garden, allegedly. And, you know, he's a marketable athlete really because of his looks. You know, you 6'6". You're built like a, an American football player or a bodybuilder. And people equate that with toughness. But really, when it comes to boxing, it's really about your heart. And us true boxing fans, we never thought that AJ didn't be wasn't gonna wasn't gonna beat Wilder or even Fury. Now, when he first beat Charles Martin, I said, Oh, this might be a 50-50 fight. But then he ended up showing literally that he did not want to fight wilder because of his fear of losing and y'all can say it's because of floyd or, or eddie hearn but he had this fear of losing that's why he was trying to duck him as long as he could to fight any Ruiz. he ended up getting knocked out in his american debut and that's the last time he's even fought in america you see they've been real cautious about that aj was rushed into winning and everybody loved him, especially over in Europe. I mean, I seen him. He had endorsements with British Airlines and Under Armour and Beats and all these other different companies. And when you lose, a lot of times they go away. So AJ, he ended up getting the bells back from uh, Andy Ruiz in Saudi Arabia. But then, you know, he starts going on this conquest again. But he ended up losing to uh, Usyk twice. And that second time is when he had that meltdown because the people not going to necessarily love him as much anymore. And it bothers him, you know, and, and you see his whole image has changed. Now he's having this tough guy persona because he doesn't he doesn't feel loved by the fans like he does. And that's what he really wants, in my opinion. So I do agree with Otto Wallen here to the degree he don't want to get knocked out because if he gets knocked out, if AJ hits the campus and he does not get up, the fans are going to turn on him completely. People have already, AJ was bigger than Tyson Fury at one point. Tyson Fury, at first it was Tyson Fury, but he retired and AJ was the most marketable guy. But now the world then switched back to Tyson Fury and he's considered the the face of the heavyweight division and over there in Europe. But AJ, man, you got to learn, man. You win some, you lose some, and you got fickle fans, but your core fans will be the ones to ride with you. But I agree. I don't necessarily think, 
I think AJ is a little afraid to hit the canvas again. But that's just my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?